Oh, is that a police car? Let's do this! All right guys, it's a bit windy here. I thought I'd make use of this opportunity and this beautiful, magnificent view out into the Mediterranean. And that's the flatlands of Sardinia. And these are the mountain ranges. We're high, high up in the mountains. I cannot tell you how high up we are, but you can look those cities over there, up in the mountains, and then far off, the sea yeah we've climbed up the mountains with this magnificent magnificent car my co-driver is a bit tired from Singapore you know he needs, he needs a little bit of rest but let me walk you through this car all right make use of this opportunity I tell you I kid you not this is genuinely genuinely the best SUV to drive to not just the power figures are alone. It's amazing how much work Aston Martin put in to improve the car. It's mind-boggling. I mean, let's start from the grille. Let's look at the grille first, all right? It's larger, all right? And they they, they, they take away that, that LED with a circle, you know, sort of like an oblong shape with the intakes in the middle. That was a cool idea, but in this application, there is just, it's just a fight between surface area and how much breathing you want. Why? The car needs 27% more area to suck in air. All right. So as you can see, as I walk near this, it has to be one of the largest open frontal area. Look at this entire part. This double panel grill. All right. And, and, and just to plug in. All this from Aston Martin is made of aluminium, okay? Now, you can see this part, you can see the insides all over this entire front end, right? It's all the intakes and the components. Some are for less, less uh, heat requirement. Uh, air ex exchange is in front. Those that require more is at the back. And then from this side, the side here, all these, the honeycomb grills are all real. They need this much air to cool the car down, to produce this kind of horsepower, this kind of top figures, okay? And here, there is a duct here. Look at this part. This drives air to the brakes, this side as well. And then down here, there are additional intakes that draws air to the brakes okay these front splitters this carbon fiber front splitters also drives air up this and then creates like a like a curtain all right to smoothen out airflow while those other features actually pull air out of the wheel well to cool down the disc brakes all right all this drives air out out of here and then this one dissipates hot air out basically it's a huge arrow uh, features carved into the car all right i can't speak enough about the suspension it's just an amazing suspension all out amazing in its most hardcore setting sport plus okay it can go through these type of roads without you feeling uncomfortable. I kid you not. You can go through off-road with Sport Plus. When you go into Sport Plus, the traction control is half off. It's fully rear-wheel drive, all right? And you can actually slide the car while the traction control system is there to safeguard, okay? These wheels are 23 inch, 420 millimeters of carbon ceramic brakes up front. The carbon ceramic discs alone 
shaves off 41 kg of unsprung weight. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. And these are shorter Imperialis. And with the introduction of the 707, uh, now if you buy the 550 version, you can spec 23 inch wheels as well. And first time in Aston Martin's history. Look at the doors. Yes, soft close is now available. These are double glaze windows. And I tell you, you can go up to 240, 250. We tried it just now. There, there are no wind whistling from the outside. Okay. And on these tires, as we all know, these P P0s are good, but they're not the greatest. And yet, hardly any tire squeals at all. All right. And this car doesn't have rear wheel steer but the way that they have put in so much homework in its suspension tuning and its handling department this is in a way a totally different car so if if, if i'm saying that if if this is uh let's say if lamborghini is sportier right bentega is more luxury and then the dbx has always been the in-between that, that does it better than both in either ends of the spectrum the 707 just pulls the bar further up here and pulls the bar further up here in terms of comfort it outperforms the Bentayga in terms of sports it outperforms the, the Urus it's amazing it's mind-boggling okay so even for the rear part this one drives out air as well to pull that and this is the amazing part this entire diffuser carbon fiber diffuser all right, it pulls air from under the undercarriage, from the wheel well, and most importantly, there is a guide from underneath that pulls air over the e diff to cool down the e diff, and then the diffuser pulls air out from the e diff. Okay, it's designed that way. And what's amazingly, you see this entire large diffuser that just out right, the approach angle never changed. I'm serious. So this car still has the same approach angle as the regular DBX, okay? And then here you can see the carbon fiber bits, unique to the 707, all right? The ends of these also unique to the 707. What they told us is that they want a car that, that is aerodynamically neutral. They don't want a car that goes like until a certain speed push down too much or after a certain speed, lifts a bit things like that they don't want that because it affects your driving everything that they did to this car is to allow you to drive it like a sports car and it's not just marketing message we just drove the car around this type of bendy mountain roads right it's brilliant it's just so so amazing all right and i just love the design of the dbx you know this there's blue, there's a few colors, and of course there's Q Division. You can literally build anything with the Q Division, right? And this one is just so beautiful, especially the, the ducktail spoiler at the back here. It just gives this car a very, very unique profile. And look at the sun coming out. The blue just shines. All right, what an amazing car. And they never put in those pops and crackles and all that all right is they let it rev let you hear the engine it's just nice sound so what has Aston Martin done to this they they signed a contract with AMG to allow them to go balls out with the engine and they made they engineered their own ball bearing turbochargers that allows the turbo to spool up faster all right they also have its own e-diff and then they changed the transmission took out the torque converter put in a locking wet clutch plates you know and this allows the car to just perform differently and all that all the things that they've done allows this car to now push 707 horsepower which under any amg tune the highest that they managed to get is 640 so this is a long long way above that all right amazing car oh, i can't say enough about this it's just Oh, it's my dream SUV. It's my dream SUV now. And and buy this, pay tax, drive it every day. You would trust me. This is this is a sports car. This is a supercar. All right, and amazing. Oh, yeah. Let's go inside. 
when I switched to pro mileage, in my case, I got 46-47% of savings oh, for that car. Pro mileage was the only one that gave me 5,000 extra value to cover, yet still cheaper, a lot less. A lot Turn up! All right, now I'm inside the DBX 707. All right. Now it's largely the same as the DBX 550 now that we call it, even though that's not an official name, but the 707, because it's the horsepower, then we call it that way. Now all the nice bits remain, these beautifully, you hear that? Oh, and these are, Again, made of crystals. All these are still there. The metallic buttons are all there. You know, what's new is this. This adjusts the drive mode. So now you have an immediate, you know, dial that adjusts the drive mode. Spot, spot plus, you know, very easy. And then if you press it, it goes into full manual mode. Okay, when it's in full manual mode, it will only help you downshift as your car comes to a slow, you know, but it will not upshift for you, no matter how, right? Maybe it will just let you go into limb mode, okay? Even if you're off it, you, you don't turn it to manual mode, you can use the pedals and downshift, and then it goes into temporary manual mode. After a while, it will shift back, all right? Now the aircon vents, the controls all remain high quality metal parts they all remain and of course it's an Aston Martin what do you expect is of, made of the finest quality of materials finest of the finest that's the hallmark of an Aston Martin right all these are metal crafted all these are amazing to touch all right and of course this one has the carbon inlays and then here you see some updates on the cup holders a little bit of sophistication and of course the seats, look at the specs, are just amazing, aren't they? Alright, all the good bits of the DBX remains and is still a cabin that is just amazing. I mean, when you compare this, I mean, when I compare this to like, let's say the Urus, right? The Urus feels a little bit Audi-ish and then the Bentega is too much of old luxury going on, but then the DBX is just nice. Now, the doors do swipe up a little, but no longer as, as pronounced as F, the VH era, okay? But one thing I really like is that, look at the door sills, it's completely flat. It's not like there's a chunk here that goes in, right? So it's really nice. Ingress and egress is just amazing. This covers all the way down here. Those, all these remain, you know, and soundproofing, even though this is a frameless door, right? But it's double glaze so soundproofing is amazing sitting at the passenger side this finally now is a wireless charger <laughs> they've they've always had this uh, placement there so it's a wireless charger now and everything else remains just as high quality as it is Right, let's go to the rear seats. Oh, before I forgot, look at that. Oh yes, it has soft clothes now. All right. Cup holders, a little bit different. They have these, you know, rubberized catches. And here, you get two USB ports at the back. You get the door lock and unlock button at the back, as opposed to the front as well. All right, and these seats, oh, look at them. The carbon claddings at the back, amazing. And I just love the speaker covers. The speaker covers of an Aston Martin is made of leather. Oh. Of course, the exhaust, the diffusers at the back. 
and in here the usual high quality stuff remain all right that's the dbx 707 all right amazing stuff now let's go Let's do this. That's <laughs> launch control for you. And that is too fast. 